Okay. <laughs> Let's get the show on the road, baby. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Wattpad isn't exactly known for having high quality shit. I mean, this... Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, you really think I'd be interested in any of this shit? Um, if you go on Wattpad, please make use of, like, the filter. Do not read any of the- do not read any of, like, the front page shit. I mean, you could- you probably find stuff that would get your rocks off or just impress you if you're, like, I don't know, 13 or something. But then again, even at 13, I had more discerning taste, you know, as someone who grew up with AO3 and fanfiction.net. Yeah, I'm one of those old fags. Um, Wattpad is... Wattpad is genuinely made by children for children, like 11 to 17 year olds, or even younger, but um... If you really want to go for the high quality shit, you want to go over to AO3, you know? Um, I have a lot of opinions. I have kind of a history with this, um, with Wattpad. Um, I just heard about how fucking shit it was, and I was like, well, of course I gotta get on that. Uh, maybe I'll even publish my own stories, you know? And I did, but um, I only did it like, what, three years later? And this was my old profile, and even back then, I was like, <laughs> I was like, uh, this site is a cesspool and you know it, come read my stories. Um, thing is, I didn't have any stories, so what the fuck was the point of making that bio? It's so inflammatory, but never mind. So I made my comeback in 2020. Um, and I got inspired by um, a friend who was like, you know, that's a pretty fucking cool idea for a novel. You should fucking post it. And I'm like, yeah, I should. And so, yeah, this video is just a fucking plug-in for my story. I'm just promoting myself because fuck you. Um, so the basic gist, gist is that, um, you know, this teenage girl... She makes a deal with a family of rich vampires in Northwest England in order to lure, lure people um, for their next meal. And in return, her life is spared. But along the way, she meets a girl with, you know, this kind of um, mystical, old-fashioned quality to her. And... Uh, she, you know, along the way, finally learns that maybe life is worth living. I'm just bullshitting here, but um, I think that's like, you know, like the premise of my story. I think it's pretty interesting. I've tried searching for um, vampire stories where a human girl or human just makes a deal with vampires to hunt humans for them so that they don't have to go through the effort of like um, hunting people by themselves because the thing about that in a world where vampires exist and people know that they exist um, they're probably not going to go outside at night um, they'll probably stay safe and be wary of any signs of danger or anything off about a person and I guess it's fine if you want to make a world where vampires are not so well known and they're not um, seen as like an actual threat because people don't know they exist. But uh, in this world, people do know they exist and they just carry on with their lives because, um, you know, it's like the fucking, it's like the fucking pandemic. <laughs> Actually, I, I kind of wrote this during the pandemic whoa actually you know i think there was like try as i might or or i just didn't intentionally have it but like i think some aspects of living through the pandemic seeped through my writing like in some parts the character says like oh you think that what iceland would allow vampires to enter their borders there's a reason why there hasn't been any cases for a decade actually Wait, hold on, let me see about that COVID. 
How are they doing? Oh, fuck. 186,000 cases. Oh, that's not very good. <laughs> but, um... Let me see. See, the thing about these things is that oh fuck that's a third of their population <laughs> but they were keeping it pretty well under control though weren't they like in the beginning it's only because of the last this this year that the last five months that their cases spiked but mean but throughout the past two years they were actually keeping it well under control and uh I guess I, I guess it could mirror the real world, you know. Um, you know, nearly every country is not doing very well, um, and it's hard to. I mean, because of the new variant, it's way it's like I don't know, uh, three times more contagious or something. Uh, anyway, sorry, this is not very. Not much is going on screen. Also, I drew that. I drew the cover. Not the background, obviously. I stole that from somewhere. Yeah, the thing about Wattpad is, like, there's a lot of fucking... Um... How to say... What's that word? Art theft? People just steal wholesale, like, snippets of your story, and your writing, and your covers, and your art on the site. Because people don't have originality, and even I don't. Like, I actually got the inspiration for this story because I was reading this really shitty fucking lesbian vampire fanfic, and I was like, <laughs> I can do better than that. Also, I'm sorry, this... This is so mean. Like, I have a fucking book collection that says why. Most of it is just clearly trolling, right? Like this one, this one is um, some fanfic about with Cindy, who's like this really funny fucking uh, booktuber. And this is like about uh, One Direction, Lewis, and Ratatouille. Never read it. I've never read this. I've never read that. I just watched videos on it. And then there's like Donald Trump and Joe Biden and like the first few pages is funny but like the rest of it is just like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of mid bro, it's not making me laugh. And then there's like um, this one by Amber Lynn Reed. Yeah. Fucking. She really thinks, she, I don't know man, she really thinks she knocked it out of the park with this one but like... <laughs> oh my god. Um, it's also like some fucking lesbian fic about going on a cruise ship where the main character goes with her mom to what amounts to as basically a lesbian orgy on a ship that lasts for months I mean I don't see what could fucking happen that could be a disaster oh right and this one oh my god this is my guilty pleasure it's so fucking bad that it's not even good but I love to read it. Dude, I come back like every once, I, I don't know, like every two years or some shit. And it's like, oh, it's so, oh, oh, it's so fucking shit. I love it. Um, I think the writer is also like a teenage girl. I, I, but I think she's older than me. I don't know. Um, she's like some Russian girl and like, uh, okay, cool, I guess. You know, I kind of find- I, I don't know if she is actually a female writer, because like, a lot of people have commented on this before, including me, that she writes like a fucking dep decrepit old male who's trying to write about lesbians, but has never experienced another touch of a woman before. Yeah, and um, she mainly writes about lesbian love stories which is you know pretty cool pretty cool it's like retellings of greek mythology um her own original stories uh, um, one of her most popular is um you know vampires i think this is her most popular actually let me see 
Yeah, this one is her most popular. It has like six million fucking reads. Um, and I've contributed a lot to the view count. Oops, sorry. But it's not like she's, I don't know. I don't know if she's earning much money from it. Um, yeah, there's like absolutely no fucking reason this story should take place in 2054. Because every fucking thing is like, everything is the same. It's all the same as like 2015 or whenever the story was made, right? There's like no technological advancements. The only difference is that there's vampires. I don't see why you would need to have a story take place like this far into the future if you're not going to incorporate it into your world building, the way that people interact with each other, or just like anything, you know? You could just have it take place right now in the real world, you know? Um, mine takes place in the very recent past, which is 2019. Um, not a lot of people know this like they read my story and they just assume that it takes place in the early 19th century because of my writing Which I'm not sure is a compliment or not um, There's like uh, this term called uh, Technology gets faster The more time goes on there's like a fucking term for it Right, right, right. Moore's law? No. Um There's a fucking term for it. I'm sorry. This is so fucking boring. No, it's called Moore's law. Is it called accelerationism? Is it? No, wait, that's like a political term for like, um, making things shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't need to explain it. I don't need to explain it more than that. Okay, fuck it. It's called Moore's Law. Which you can't- you don't know what that fucking means if you just read the name Moore's Law, but whatever. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I fucking love this shit. Oh, man. It's, it's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> the apocalypse did happen, but it wasn't the end of the world. It was the start of it. Oh, my God. You know what? There's a really shitty fucking thing that I did, actually. I decided as a practice that I wanted to rewrite the story, but in my own style, to make it better. And uh, I don't know. I think it's fine. As long as you don't post your rewritten version anywhere and you don't harass the author with the fact that you rewrote their stories i think it's okay as like a practice like to see how you would it's to like try to test your own voice um and try to build your confidence as a writer especially if you're rewriting a story that desperately needs fixing or like um that could be improved but it's like kind of retarded isn't it i also did this with other fan fiction i don't know i also do this with like my own art like literally drawing art um but i never post it anywhere because like that would be a dick move but um and i could see that there were improvements in my 2017 version but uh it also wasn't great you know it was very clunky i think and like the pacing was so off but it was good practice listen fellas children please babies fetuses if you see a story with good grammatical structure or like good grammar and spelling and shit, it doesn't automatically mean it's good get better standards i know your children but you know um you don't need to treat someone as their god just because they have not noticeable um shit grammar and this story does have a few english mistakes because obviously the english is i don't think it's her first language uh 
Oh my god, this is fucking boring. Who wants to see... Who wants to see my library? Oh my god, um, fuck this. <laughs> no, bitch, no. Yeah, I don't- I don't go on Wattpad a lot. I mean, I have deleted a few stories, but only because they were the front page stories that I just read. Like, Chasing Rid or some shit. And I just didn't want that staining my fucking library. Okay? Because I'm never gonna go back to read them. Because they're not even entertaining enough to be read. Even if they're bad. You know? So... Yeah, I don't know. It's just- it's mainly original work. Oh, there's my friend. You should read her work. It's pretty good. Now, this one's pretty good, but I don't know what the fuck is going on, because I take long breaks in between reading each chapter, and I mainly only read it because of this um, fan club. I mean, not fan club, but like book club, where people review each other's stories, and they give critiques or whatever. Sinners and Strings is fucking baller, dude. Like, this is like one of the- like- one out of the th three real person fanfics that I've ever read that is actually like that I would actually read. Forget about even liking it. I don't read real person fanfiction because I think that's cringe. But um, the thing about real person fanfiction is that a lot of them just use the face and the name of the celebrity. They don't actually incorporate any real life details into them because that's even more fucked up and <coughs> weird honestly a curse gold is uh, an original fanfic um with this uh m slash m what the fuck what i mean um this gay romance you know and i fucking love it the world is so fucking cool it reminds me of this author not poignant um it's, you know, pretty good. Uh, this is okay, I guess. Haven't read this. You know my opinions on these two. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, the thing about these poetry collections is that they kind of... I love them. There's, like, so much potent fucking emotion to them. But they seem to rely a little bit too much on certain words and certain i don't know just certain words in order to make the reader feel emotion while not actually utilizing the medium of poetry to create something like i don't know if i'm explaining it right but like uh after you binge all of these poems after a while, they kind of run similar, they, like they just melt together. You don't really remember each one individually. And I guess that's my fault because it's not like the author posts them all at once. She posts these poems in like one by one with like breaks in between so that um, after reading one poem, like the, m the meaning of it really sinks in. But if you just binge it all at once, uh, you know, you don't really- you can't fucking differentiate between them. Um, but anyway, it's... I don't know. Um, it's like the same thing with, like, you know, TV shows. You binge all the episodes at once, and you actually come away with it knowing less, and just, you know, you don't get to notice the little details because you're always trying to search for the next episode next episode next episode and it's you know a fucking bane to like the like the you know viewer show engagement you know what i'm saying oh fuck i don't know if i'm explaining that right but like and another problem with binging shows is that uh once the show is over nobody fucking talks about it anymore okay sure like you know like there's some discussions for like one week maybe then everybody pops the fuck off except for the most die hard fans but it's hard to sustain fandom and fan engagement if you just give them like a huge fucking price like a prize all at once 
some shows are made to be bingeable other shows are not like euphoria it's it's good that it was um you know that it was um it aired on a weekly basis because people actually you know talked and thought about it yeah i don't know it's good it's good shit like i like i like the poetry but it's a little bit i don't know something about it is just uh fuck yeah my wattpad library is not embarrassing you want the hot goss you want the real shit you go to my ao3 but I've actually deleted some of the more problematic ones. I'm joking. Um, I mean, it's not its not because I deleted them because they're problematic. It's because my tastes, I have outgrew them. And I'm just not into stories where, like, the one character is, like, really fucking young, you know? Should I give the show? Okay. It was Mob Psycho. You already know. You already know which pairing. Look, listen, I got in- <laughs> I got into that mob psycho pairing when I was like, what? 15? Maybe even younger? Don't fucking- Dude, don't. <laughs> don't come for me. Cause guess what? I think young teenagers should be allowed to explore their fucked up, you know, tastes and their kinks without the fear of, like, um, being- recommended and the most important thing is that it's fiction so it's not like there are actual children being harmed but now as like an adult like 20 years old like i don't i don't find the appeal in it anymore i don't think it's hot i, I don't think it's i don't think like i feel uncomfortable reading it you know and i'm just like jesus christ oh no uh yeah 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 okay cool 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 um oh my god this video is so fucking boring let's go to my air three <laughs> yeah um back in february i was pretty fucking obsessed with drag kind of am but like mainly his centricide series which is basically a series about like um like all the political ideologies coming together like you know communist and um fascists and uh fucking uh i don't know if they're called libertarians but like economic libertarians or like wait what do you call those again what do you call those again hold on um lib right lip right lip right what the fuck is lip right oh my god um names oh my fucking god no drag lib right lib right Oh, and caps, right, which stands for anarchist capitalist, which seems like, like a little bit of a fucking, you know, contradiction, but whatever. Anyway, the whole point is that all, all the political ide ideologies come together and they decide to kill centrists because everyone fucking hates centrists and they should be put to, you know, the gulags. Uh, but anyway, I kind of had like this, uh, you know, like a, hmm, like a little liking towards uh, the, the Kami and Natsu. Sorry. It's just the, you know, fucking femoid in me. <laughs> I mean, holy shit, honestly. The communist can get it. I mean, I am lib left as it gets, but like, holy shit, man. Oh yeah, um, Azula and Ty Lee. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. You know, I think the most that I can ever say about my favorite, um, my bookmark fanfics is that they're just good. 
Oh yeah, I, I have a predilection towards uh, Eddie Brock and Venom predilection. Fondness. I have a fondness for like, you know, um, monster human fanfics. Oops. Uh, oh, what did I say about uh, age gaps again? Oops, sorry. Like, uh, let's not look at this. But yeah, that, that was like one. That was like my first full-on ship that I ever got into, Danny Phantom and Black Masters. Uh, when I was twelve, I actually read the fan. I actually read a fanfic first before I moved on to watching the actual show. Um, that was also the same story with like going on all these like um, Boku no Hero threads on like CM and Y on 4chan. Uh, and I was like, man, the boys in this fucking show are hot. Let me see if the show is good. And it was for like the first two seasons, but man, it, it gets so fucking boring. And I heard the, f I heard the latest season, season five, is ass. Like, the 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 the, the, the what what what? Um, I fucking hate the dialogue. Like, it's like they never shut the fuck up. Stop narrating every single action and thought that you have. Just fucking get to the point. I mean, I get this is like a problem with anime in general and maybe shonen, but holy shit. There's a reason why I don't watch shonen. It's because you fucking people won't ever shut the fuck up. I could not stand it. And... I don't know. If you want to know what my favorite pairings in that show are, it's obviously Bakugo and like um, Deku and uh, Todoroki. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're my first ever threesome pairing. <laughs> I mean, I'm also quite um, fond of like Todoroki and Deku and uh, Ejiro and Bakugo. The rest of them can all go f to fucking hell. I do like Oshago and um, Deku though. And they're cute, you know, I wouldn't mind if they got together. But I fucking- yeah, they're so fucking wholesome, honestly. But Oshako and Bakugo? <gasps> oh my god! I've never seen a ship that was so blatantly self insert -ish. Oh my god, they, they barely even interact, are you fucking kidding me? They have no chemistry together. Y'all just want a good girl and a bad guy. Y'all are fucking mid. Y'all are fucking basic as shit. Ooh, actually, you know what? Instead of just looking through all 149 bookmarks that I've collected since I was like, what? Since 2014. Ugh, I was literally 12. Anyway, yeah, it's actually not that many for someone who's, yeah, mm, strange. I don't actually have, actually, I do have very high standards for fan fiction. Like, even if everything goes right, oh, the writing is impeccable, the fucking, uh, the grammar and the spelling and shit is great, um, everything seems perfect but if i don't feel it then i don't care for it and i won't add it to my library um oh my god <laughs> hold the fucking phone oh no oh no oh no oh no jesus i like it explicit huh don't i that's so funny oh oh wow <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it's not funny, it's just... Man, 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 my fucking taste. I've actually gotten more vanilla as I've grown up. I'm not looking for as many um, Rayborn non-con stories. I mean, that still gets me, you know? Still gets my rocks off, but like... I don't search for it. But it is tasty. Ooh, okay! Uh, obviously. Obviously. Um, obviously. M slash M is my most, um, my most popular? No, uh, my most, you know, the highest fucking, the highest fucking category. Second is 
F slash F, which is, you know, pretty cool, pretty bisexual of me. Second, uh, third is general. Hmm. Fourth if is F slash M. Hmm, interesting. Fandoms. Oh, 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 non-poignance work. <gasps> so good. So good. Like, I can't even describe it. It's, like, genuinely life-changing. Can't believe she puts this shit out for free, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, they go by they, them, or he, him. Their work is fucking amazing. Uh, I will say though that their smut scenes, while they're very easy to picture and they're very visual, and uh, some of them are f really erotic, um, some of it is written with like a little bit too much description of like the physical actions that the characters take and kind of gets me out of it and uh, some of them are described in like a kind of clinical way but no like the smut is good it's mainly story with a bit of smut in it yeah I just I just love her work I mean their work um, the man from uncle um, Actually, this is not interesting, is it? Is it interesting? I might actually delete this video. The Man from Uncle. I've tried watching the movie. Did not finish. We got it on DVD, but I was like, uh. My family wanted to watch something else, I think. Um. The main author who makes my favorite. Men from Uncle um, uh, fanfics is uh, Object Lesson. She's fucking amazing, dude. I think, honestly, 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 if I had to pick between my top three authors, sh she would be number fucking one. She honestly might. I just. I don't know. <laughs> Great Mouse Detective. Yeah. Don't fucking at me. <laughs> There's a lot of good fan fiction, surprisingly. It's like one of those children's movies that inspires a lot of fucking um, smut for some reason. Between rats and mice, I don't know. Rise of Guardians? Oh, fuck yeah, that's good. Um, Look at No Hero? I don't know, man. I was kind of obsessed with it. A DCU? Oh yeah, fuck man, Batman and The Flash from like Justice League Unlimited. <laughs> That's my shit. Um, Sherlock Holmes? I've actually watched until season 3. I've watched all 3 seasons and uh, I didn't get the hype. I get why people like Sherlock and um, John Watson. But honestly, the fan fiction is way better than the show. And Batman, of course. Like, that's, you know. <laughs> I know that makes me. Like a. Like a fucking NPC or whatever, but I like Batman. You know, fucking. He, he has the best rogues gallery, he has the best stories, and I just. You know, he's, he's cool. Fuck you characters Bruce Wayne oh my god I don't know if this is an I don't know if this is interesting yeah <laughs> oh my god yeah dude I fucking love Connor and Hank dude that fits so many of my favorite tropes so well huh Harley and Ivy. I don't think I've ever searched up fanfics for them before. Uh, obviously, you know, Jack and Chase from Yellowing Showdown. I tried watching one episode of it. I really tried. I tried watching another. I couldn't take it. I'm like, this is so fucking- this is like such early 2000s trash. I cannot watch a show of this. I'll just watch like clips of them on YouTube. Additional tags, heart comfort, angst, ooh, first time, fluff, angel sex, alternate universe, romance, bondage, for sex, angel sex, yeah, fuck, 
Yeah, man. You know how I got my, most of my kinks? It's through fucking fanfiction, bro. It's so stupid. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, this video is just a plug to... Just a plug for my uh, fucking fic. Whatever. Read my... Read my gay les... Uh, read my lesbian vampire novella. I'm... It's good. It's good.